The 48 volt motor that we bought for the tugboat was completely destroyed in shipping. I went online, searched through Amazon, Timu, AliExpress, looking for what kind of low cost 48 volt electric motor options were out there. But I was thinking 48 volt is really gonna get us to that next level of power. And there's an 1800 watt version, which is probably plenty. Then there's a 2200 watt version. They call it an eight horsepower. Uh, math says that's not quite eight horsepower. But the thought was this is made to propel quite a large vessel and it would be more than enough for our little tugboat. So we spent the money and I think it was $160 plus like $70 in delivery off of Amazon. And if you're like me, I hate paying delivery for anything anymore. So uh, that was part of the deal was like, okay, let's see how this shapes up. And as we did that, you know, it took a couple days for it to come over. I think it came via FedEx, if I remember right. Uh, you know, it showed up. I saw it on my front door camera. All right, the motor's here. We opened up the box. The, from the bottom up, the bottom looks good. And the head is completely cracked off the motor. It's like flopping around like a fish. And, and um, so now I'm like, well, crap. We bought this cheap motor. It was $70 to deliver it. I sure don't want to spend $70 to ship this thing back and have to deal with that. So we went on Amazon and luckily I bought it through Amazon, which I think really helped the situation quite a bit. It gives you that kind of extra layer of protection of, you know, the, the seller really wants to stay on Amazon and stay in good graces and all those things. So I messaged him and said, hey, this thing broke. What do you want to do about it? And so they asked for some pictures, of course, which is fine. I sent him some pictures and then they offered up and say, well, we'll send you a new cowling and you can put it on. Well, that's not really what I wanted, right? I bought a brand new motor. And so what I did is I went through and said, okay, well, that's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't want to deal with that. I bought a brand new motor. That's what I want. And they reluctantly agreed to send me another motor. Okay, great. Now I've already got a, I've got a dead motor, right? But I've got some parts that I can deal with. And, uh, you know, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, you know, we'll see if this thing ever really shows up. And so like any good engineer in the meantime, I went ahead and cut up the one that I had because uh, any good engineer is just going to try and figure it out, right? So we cut the head off of it, took the motor controller off and started thinking of how we can make this thing work under the idea that this replacement motor may never show up. So we've done that and we'll walk through it here in just a second. We'll also walk through the battery that's powering this thing, which is fantastic. Love to talk to you about that as well. Anywho, a couple, couple days, probably a week and a half goes by and boom, another motor shows up. All right, well, let's check it out. We have another motor. It's gonna be ready to plop on there, connect it up and let's go. Let me go grab it for you. So here it is. This thing is a monster. Let's see if I can see in here, trolling motor, 48 volt motor that just as broken as the other one. Crap. Well, you can see how well they ship these things. So needless to say, I got two motors. Let me set this thing down. I've got a whole nother set of good parts. Let me walk you through what we ended up doing and uh, we're gonna make this work. So let's check that out. So here it is. We cut the head off the motor. We're running the wiring down through the 70 amp connector. We have a 3D printed steering option here that's gonna to run to a push-pull cable. And then we have the motor just as it comes. It's got, uh, comes with a spare propeller. It's got this little kind of, uh, what do you call that? Any cavitation plate. It's kind of mocked up here in the overall height. But that's really what we're working with. This is, hey, let me turn this to the side. This motor is massive. This thing is going to absolutely rip. You can see over there my other dead one. So let's walk through how this thing is gonna work. We're gonna mount it here on the transom. I've gotta do some reinforcements on it. And I'm gonna have a steering cable that runs all the way through here. And here is our throttle. So this is, I'm gonna put a little ball on here. And this is our remote throttle. And this is self-returning intentionally. We wanna make sure that the kids you know, they really don't get too far ahead of themselves. If they let go, the boat will eventually stop. And then uh, it's gonna be operated with our steering. I did a video on this, I'll link it 
of how to make the helm work, and this will be fully functional here soon. Now let's go ahead and talk about powering this motor because that's gonna be super important. Like I said, this is not a 12 volt motor that you see on 99% of these. They're gonna be just a basic 30 pound thrust trolling motor running off a 12 volt. It's not a 24 volt, it is not a 36 volt, it's a 48 volt. So we really now have a high voltage running through this thing, and we actually have a sponsor for the Tuggy Boat, and that's gonna be Lee Time. We have worked with Lee Time on a lot of different content, several different batteries, 12 volt batteries, 36 volt batteries, chargers, things like that. And Lee Time came through with a golf cart battery. That's a 51.2 volt battery. Let's go ahead and check that out. In our little magic box here, what's in the box? We've got our battery set up. And this is the relocated motor controller that came off of our 48 volt motor that used to be in the head of this thing. This is our 48 volt to 12 volt converter to run all the accessories. And here is the lead time, 51.2 volt, 30 amp hour. It's a group GC2 golf cart battery. This thing is super cool. Let's go ahead and run the math on that. That's gonna be 51.2 volts times 30 amp hours, 1500 watt hours. So that's more power than like your typical 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. So even though it's only 30 amp hour, it's definitely cranking out a lot of capacity. We're gonna be able to run on this thing quite a long time. And uh, you can just see how it kind of nestles in the middle of the boat there. We got our main 48 volt power line going to the motor and then our 12 volts accessories kind of running out of the front here. That is gonna be awesome. Let's go ahead and power this thing up. We just kind of have our temporary on and off switch here. We're gonna find a home for this gauge under here somewhere so that you can see what's going on as it gets ramped up. There we go, 51.2 volts. Power's running through here. We got our motor controller going. And here's our throttle. This thing is gonna cook. It's gonna absolutely cook. Good throttle response out of it. We have a reverse switch mounted here. So we hit that and it's gonna run in reverse. Turn that back off and now we're back and forward. So this thing will operate exactly like a real boat when we're done with it. Super huge thank you to Lee Time for providing us with reliable, long lasting lithium power, lithium iron phosphate battery, awesome cycle life, extended performance out of this thing, lightweight, I think it's somewhere in the 30 pound range. So we're saving some weight over a typical 12 volt lead acid battery. And this thing is gonna absolutely scoot. I'm so excited to get this thing running. Thank you for following along with our build. We are, we are getting close. So I think we gotta do the push pull cable on the steering. We're gonna flip it over and do some reinforcement onto the transom to make sure that this thing can handle the 2200 watts that we're gonna put through to it. Uh, that may be a little bit questionable, but that's something I think we could do. We gotta foam it, we gotta cover up our wiring, our speakers, all that stuff, get ready for foam. I did get some flooring for it, so we're gonna put some like EVA foam in there, make it look nice, gotta mount some cleats. I know that sounds like a lot, but we're actually on probably the other side of the hump. We're getting there. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you make sure you see this end result, right? So this is coming up probably another three, four weeks. I think we're gonna be on the water, ready to get this thing out there. Leave a comment down below. We'll see you on the next one.